What is going on guys, Coach Hoot the Lions Den. In this video, we're gonna be covering one of the biggest issues I see when it comes to people pressing, and they often miss the press or the rep because of this. We're also gonna cover how to fix the issue, so let's go roll the intro. What's up guys, Coach O here at the Lions Den. Like I said, we're gonna be talking about the press and specifically an error I see with the press and how to correct it. Now, before we get into that, make sure that if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all the videos that are coming out. So getting right to the point, one of the biggest errors that I see with the press is people pressing the bar out in front of them. instead of putting the bar directly overhead. Now, why do we wanna do this uh, instead of pressing out in front of us? Because we wanna make sure that we have a perfectly straight bar path. The bar is gonna be the most efficient and feel the lightest with a straight bar path. Once we come off of that bar path and we're pressing away from us, it's gonna make the weight feel heavier and it's gonna make the lift harder. So something that's really helped me is practicing with very light weight over and over and over again, good bar path and technique, and then progressively building up, uh, making sure that I'm maintaining that bar path and technique. And often when I talk to people about the press, we wanna make sure at the lockout that our ear is gonna be in line with our bicep. So if we're either pushing the bar in front of us or too far back, it's a good way to gauge it. Where is their ear in relation to the barbell? Now it's not gonna be perfect for everybody, but it's just something to think about when you're pressing and maybe you have a camera set up so you can check the video and see where your head is in relation to the barbell. Another quick tip is making sure that you're keeping your chin tucked and making that double chin uh, face so that the bar can travel directly up and you're not gonna hit yourself in the chin or the face. If you find that that is happening, that's a simple quick fix. Just get your chin tucked back prior to the press. Now at the same time, if you're not doing that, you automatically know that you're most likely pressing the bar out in front of you. Now I see this error mostly occur in the jerk variation. So whether that's gonna be the push jerk or the split jerk, what I find is that when people go for the jerk, they end up missing the lift because they press the bar out in front of them. And like I said, it kind of gets stuck somewhere in the middle of the press or wherever their weakest point is in the press and they miss the lift. Now I think this is due uh, to just a lack of self-confidence and committing to the lift. And quote unquote, what we like to say in here is full send, and you actually have to full send it when it comes to the jerk or the jerk variations. You can't hold back. It's an all or nothing movement. And typically what you're gonna see is people fail it because they don't full send it all the way and get it above their head. And this is typically gonna happen with maximal loads uh, because when you do a jerk or a split jerk, it's a movement that's gonna help you put the most amount of weight overhead, something that you probably couldn't push press and something that you definitely couldn't jerk press. Now to fix the problem specifically with the jerk is gonna be easy, yet it will be easier said than done. What I mean by that is really what we wanna do is stick with light to medium weight on the bar and keep working the technique over and over and over again, making sure that we're fully committing to the jerk and getting the bar overhead and it's not getting stuck midway up. Now the hard part about that is we're our own worst enemy and we can doubt ourselves and we get scared and timid and that usually results in a no lift. So you have to work on building your confidence. I've put out other videos that I can link above about imagery and visualization, but this is actually something that will help, positive self-talk uh, that will contribute to a movement like the jerk because you almost have to really full send and have a little bit of that faith to get the lift done. Another tip that I will add so that you don't get stuck midway in the jerk is going to be to make sure that you are dropping under the bar completely. Typically what happens is people aren't confident enough to get under the bar and they catch the bar with bent elbows and then they have to press the bar the rest of the way. But if the weight is too heavy and you can't do a press out, you're just going to simply fail the rep or the lift. So I wanna keep this video really short, sweet, to the point and simple. Uh, but make sure that you guys are not pressing the bar out in front of yourself and you wanna have a nice, perfect and straight bar path. And the easiest way to analyze this is just by taking a video or working with a coach. And like I said, to fix this, we wanna stay with light to medium weight, consistently building up uh, the proper bar path and technique and then transfer that over to when we go heavier, okay? Nothing that may help you guys is working on the heavier end, okay? Because going heavy for singles, doubles or triples is a skill and we don't wanna neglect that as well especially if you have a competition coming up that results in 
you know, a heavy press or some sort of pressing event that is a maximal effort, you wanna practice that ahead of time before competition. So like I said, guys, make sure that you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and I will catch you guys next week. So stay lean, me strike machine. Peace.